Hello, hi, it's uh, Dr. Munshi here at Queen's Hospital. Um, I'm going to show you a few techniques that my colleague here, um, uh, Sue Elliott, who's the Director of Nursing, um, has advised from her time in ITU. So what I need you to understand is that um, once you have an active infection, you need to be uh, getting uh, a good uh, amount of air into the bases of your lung. Um, the only way you're going to achieve that is having a technique which Sue has kindly shared with me with her time in ITU. Um, being a nurse, they were doing this on a more daily basis, whereas as a doctor, I, was, I didn't probably pay as much attention. Um, nonetheless, I'm going to go through the technique um, as Sue has shown me. Um, and I want you guys to start doing this if you have the infection right from the beginning. If you want to do it before you even pick up the infection, good idea. Anyway, the way it will work is you will take five deep breaths in. And each time you'll hold your breath for five seconds. On the sixth deep breath, you will take it in and you will do a big cough and covering your mouth. Okay, you will do this twice and then you will then lay flat on uh, your bed with a pillow in front of you, taking slightly deeper breaths for the next 10 minutes. Because you've got to understand that the majority of your lung is on your back, not on your front. So... By lying on your back, you're closing off more of the airways, the smaller airways. And this is not good during a period of infection, can lead to uh, something called basal atelectasis. This can then lead to a secondary pneumonia. So it's very important that you guys understand this. So two cycles of uh, deep breaths, hold your breath for five seconds, breathe out. Sixth breath on each cycle, you will do a big cough to open up the lower airways and cough up anything. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. That's one cycle. So you've done one cycle, you will do a second cycle. Just to let you know, I just did that and I felt dizzy doing it. The, after you've done two cycles of this, remember it's a big cough at the end, after you've done two cycles of this, you need to lay flat on your front with a pillow in front of you, yeah? And you will take normal breaths, but slightly deeper than normal, but you're lying on your front. And please remember, the most important thing is laying in bed for prolonged periods on your back is going to close off the small airways, will increase your risk of getting a secondary, secondary pneumonia that can make your condition deteriorate much, much further. Bearing in mind that the patients that are deteriorating are deteriorating because of respiratory problems. So I hope this video helps. Um, spread it to your friends and family. Um, and if there's any other updates to help you guys, I'm sure we'll share it. Take care.